Hello and <coughs> welcome to the latest Lucosa Retro Game Review video. For this one it is Ninja Mission, uh, which is quite an early uh, Amiga game, released in 1987 by Master Trike. Uh, this game came about largely because of the... Um, well, it was one of many ninja based games that came along following the success of uh, The Last Ninja and uh, all of them rather missed the point. It wasn't the fact that uh, you know it featured a ninja that made the game popular, it was how well designed uh, you know, the game itself was. Oh well. Anyway, uh, let's get a game on the way. Now it is a sort of beat em up, you know, you have various moves uh, when you are attacking and uh, you know, it's, it's pretty standard fare. These things that you pick up, you use to throw, these things act as health potions. The trouble is, if you pick them up when you don't need your health, or you don't need you know, your, your health improving, and they don't do anything apart from add to your score. So I'll throw that uh, weapon that I picked up um, on the previous screen, and it did fuck all. But uh, as you can see, beating him is uh, no challenge whatsoever. So we now get uh, a shuriken as well as that, whatever that other thing was that I threw. And the amount of stuff that you pick up quickly accumulates. Uh, well, as you can see, <laughs> you can use it to uh, dispatch opponents rather quickly. So, that's my health topped up again as we now approach the next area. Where it has another uh, bloke waiting for us. They didn't really do an awful lot. Uh, he doesn't seem to be too much of a challenge. I think he's landed like, you know, one hit on me. So we'll pick that up, pick up the other stuff that we threw. So I've now got four of these things that uh, I can uh, use to uh, attack opponents. Which means that I can just throw them all and uh, dispatch the uh, enemy straight away. And this is pretty much the whole game. Um, in order to get to the, uh, the next area, we need to go back to the Shijo entrance. And you'll notice there's a hole in the ceiling up there. You need to position yourself directly below the hole, push up and up you go. Now you'll get more than one enemy uh, per screen. So yeah, here we go. So uh, let's uh, throw our gear at him. Didn't quite uh, dispatch uh, the evil ninja, but the uh, oh, he's making short work of me. My sword doesn't seem to be doing a great deal, but I dealt with him. And the soap was no problem. Now you see, this is where I really wish that I was able to actually use the uh, um, health potions, because my health is now very low. Now there's a health potion there, but I've got to get past these fuckers first. So, well, I've got rid of one, but the other one is virtually full health. Let's see if I can dispatch him that way. Fuck it, yeah, oh, I was lucky. Alright, so on with uh, the review. Graphically, uh, for an 87 game, it's not bad. Um, you know, there's, there's nothing groundbreaking at all. Uh, sound effects wise, the sound effects are unbelievably sparse. The music is not that fantastic, to put it mildly. And uh, gameplay wise, it is a very basic, uh, you know, beat em up. Uh, the enemies spend an awful lot of time not doing much, and if you have enough of those, uh, you know, weapons that you can throw, um, you can often defeat 
quite a few enemies without having to actually engage them in combat at all. But as you can see, I'm just defeating these enemies. Uh, well, just by using the same move over and over and over again. And there's a hole in the ceiling there, so if we uh, jump up and get through that. Now when I first played this game, I played it on the Atari ST, and I thought the music on the ST version was better, largely because it was by Rob Hubbard. Now we have three enemies, so let's see what our... Uh Fucking hell, he's picked them all up, so I'm going to really struggle here. Uh, that's one that's been used against me. If I throw it, no, I'm dead. Uh, so, um, there you go, that is uh, Ninja Mission. So, it's, it's an extremely basic uh, ninja game, to put it mildly. Um, there's nothing here in terms of audio, gameplay or graphics that makes me think that uh, you know it needed a computer with the power of a, an Amiga. This is no, yeah, you know, this is not 16-bit gaming. But I mean, it's not awful, um, but it's just not particularly memorable either. Uh, so. Um, well, I'll give this game 5 out of 10. It's average. Um, I mean, I've played far worse, like Chuck Rock 2, but uh, yeah, I've certainly played better. So, uh, there you go, uh, Ninja Mission for the uh, Amiga, uh, 5 out of 10. Uh, that brings this video to an end, and we will see you at the next one.